We do a lot of investments to make your work day as least like a grind as it can be, um, to make you want to come to the work atmosphere, um, which in turn just it creates better spirits and then creates a more productive environment as well as we try to give people places where they can see personal growth, whether it be taking additional classes, going to leadership seminars, um, outside education pieces which help you come back and bring more good or unknown information to the team um, so we can start implementing that across the board too. I think it's really important to get feedback from, from employees when it comes to that and I think we do a really good job of that. I mean, we've had, you know, our, our company specifically we had an opportunity um, when we reached all our quarterly goals last year, um, this year actually, where I think we were originally going to go on a cruise and there were a couple families that had just had babies, me being one of them, um, and I think there was a discussion about, well is that really, does everyone want to do that? Because that sounds awesome, you know, like that to, to a CEO, that's a really good gift and, and to any person that's a really good gift and and it's it is but instead of just making that decision Russell brought that up in front of everybody at our culture the first Friday and we made a decision as a group and it turned out really well in my opinion I think that everybody kind of got to do something that they enjoyed one way or the other um, you know, no one, no one was uncomfortable for the most part. I think it was a pretty good time, um, but he listened. He didn't make that decision on his own. The management team didn't make that decision. So I think it comes down to really communicating and hearing what your employees want. More and more now, people, uh, especially with the millennial generation, they want to uh, lend their home life with their company life. So it's more, it's more fluid. They don't just work eight to five, go home at the end. So to create that environment that they can feel comfortable um, blending, that we care about them personally with business, that's where you grab that. So we provide healthy meals to make sure that our employees are fed and that they have something, you know, access to healthy food as well as a gym um, and other opportunities through our, through our health benefits. I've read articles about how companies try to just entice employees like in my generation and, and the new generations of, of hires that things like the little ping pong table and free food and free snacks and stuff that's like things that they're trying to trick you with and say that working there is good but it actually is you know like having the ability to take that break and, and just relieve some stress or, or you know let go for a couple minutes it, it's very beneficial, at least to the way I work. So, love having those options here. I think it's a combination of everything. I think it's a combination of you know the nice things that, that we get throughout the year, like you know baseball games or you know rodeo tickets, stuff like that, which which actually create a hey, after work we're going to go do this. Um, and then same with first Friday, you know, just kind of a way to to stop talking about work. I mean, that's the only way I guess get to know someone better is when you have something else to talk about besides work.